hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm doing a tutorial on this tiny bee bracelet and i know a lot of you guys like to follow along my tutorials while you are actually making the bracelet but i recommend watching the whole thing first because i show you guys how to make both of these the normal bee bracelet on the bottom and then the bee bracelet with the border on the top so just kind of watch the whole thing first before you start making it you know just to see both ways on how to do it and yeah let's just go ahead and jump right into the video so to make this bracelet you are obviously going to need some embroidery floss like always and sorry i just was having some candy moving on you're gonna need to pick out four colors one for your background and then the other colors you're picking out are probably gonna all have the same ones you're gonna need black yellow and white for the actual B. Starting off with the background color, I'm using this like corally pink color. You're going to cut two strings at a wingspan's length. I would actually recommend cutting them a little bit longer than a wingspan's length, probably like a wingspan and a half length um, because you do use a lot of this thread. So I'd recommend cutting a little bit extra. And you are going to go ahead and fold these strings in half. Next, for the black, you're going to only cut one string, that is a wingspan, and this one can actually be a wingspan's length, and you're going to also just fold this one in half as well. So now for both your yellow and your white, you're only going to cut one string, that is the length of your wingspan length strings folded in half. So the white and the yellow strings are going to just be the length of half your wingspan. So as you can see with the white, I'm just lining that up because I already folded my wingspan length strings in half. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the yellow as well. Once that is all done, you are now ready to start your bracelet. You can go ahead and start this however you want. I have a video on how to do the stitched loop with an odd number of strings linked in the description box. Once your bracelet is started and ready to go and all taped down, this is how your string should be set up. I went ahead and did the pattern already um, just to show you guys what it will look like. So the order goes black, background, yellow, background, white, background, background, black. This is a 1-2 pattern, so I'm going to go ahead and pair up my strings. And for row 1, my first 3 pairs are going to be backward forward knots. And then my final pair on this row is going to be a forward-backward knot. And then for row 2, I'm going to go ahead and take out my outer strings and then repair all of my strings without including the outer strings. And for row 2, this entire row is going to be forward-backward knots. For row 3, I'm going to bring back in my outer two strings and include those in my pairs. And we're just going to repeat row 1 again. So my first three pairs are going to be backward-forward knots. And my final pair is going to be a forward-backward knot. For row 4, I'm going to be leaving out my outer two strings and not including those in my pairs. And this entire row is going to be forward-backward knots. For row 5, I'm going to be bringing back in my outer two strings. My first two pairs are going to be backward knots.
My third pair is going to be a forward backward knot. And my fourth and final pair is going to be a forward knot. For row six, I'm going to be leaving out my outer two strings. First pair is going to be a backward knot. And then my final two pairs are going to be forward knots. For the seventh row, I'm going to be bringing back in my outer two strings. My first two pairs are going to be forward-backward knots. And my final two pairs are going to be backward-forward knots. For the eighth row, I'm going to be leaving out my outer two strings. My first pair is a forward knot. And then my last two pairs are backward knots. For the ninth row, I'm going to bring back in my outer two strings. My first two pairs are going to be forward knots. My third pair is a forward backward knot. And my fourth pair is going to be a backward knot. For the 10th and final row, I'm going to leave out my outer two strings, and this entire row is going to be forward, backward knots. So that is this entire B pattern, and now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do this pattern with the border. All right guys, so as I was making this bracelet, um, I noticed that the edges were just coming out really ugly. Um, also, I definitely used the wrong colors for this one because you can barely even see the pattern. So to fix this, I decided to actually add a border to it. So I made a second one, I used a darker color for the background. And then I also did a border around the edges to help straighten it out. I think it looks so much better this way. So I thought I'd just show you guys how to do that really quick just in case you wanted to do it like this. So if you wanted to add a border, you can literally do this with any bracelet, not just this one. Um, you're going to go ahead and just cut one extra string that is a wingspan's length and fold that in half. And this string will be your border color. I chose white, but you can obviously do whatever color you want and then when you start the bracelet just make sure that the border colors are on the very outside when you set up your strings for the bracelet this does not affect the pattern really at all and how you actually make the design you're just adding um, some extra strings to do a border with so when you do this you're going to pair up your strings like you normally would and you're going to have your two outer strings like not included basically like you're leaving out your outer two strings however we're still on the first row and i'm gonna go ahead and just do my knots like normal Once that row is done, you're then going to bring in your outer two border strings 
and then repair all your other strings. Normally on the even numbered rows we leave out the outer two strings but if you're doing the bracelet with a border design then you're going to leave out the outer two strings on the odd numbered rows. And when you do the border you're going to take your pair and you're going to do a forward backward knot on the left. Then go through all your other knots like you normally would. And then when you get to the other side, you're going to take your border string and you're going to do a backward forward knot. Just like so. And then now for the third row, you're going to leave out your two outer border strings and then repair all your other strings, do the knots like normal, and just keep going. So that is just how you add the border if you wanted to do that. I'm going to list out all the instructions with and without the border in the description box. So if you are confused by this, you can just follow along with the knotting process. And yeah. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video and like I already mentioned, the instructions for how to do it normally and how to do the bracelet with the border will both be listed in the description box so you guys can follow along with that. And yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys all in my next video. Goodbye.